Well, it's great to be back. Welcome to Beers with Rich. I'm Rich, editor of Under the Radar Report. This week's beer is one that simply caught my eye, like many do. Another one-drop winter special from the land of the Kamangal people and the Cronulla Sharks. Oat Cream IPO. So get on top! That's what it's called. Get on top with Clean Fusion. Woohoo! <laughs> It's a big one. Oh. It cracked eventually. Oh, definitely has that wintry feel. Oh, it's nice and creamy. I'm getting into these oat creams. For better or worse. Speaking of winter specials, just come back from a couple of weeks of skiing. Let me tell you. It's just like investing. Now, when you're skiing every turn, you have to adjust. There are literally millions of adjustments you have to make when you're wishing down the slopes. And you have to trust your body to keep up with your skis. Get over the skis, push them out on the moguls. <laughs> Jeez, wouldn't mind being back there. In the same way, the markets these days are particularly skittish and you have to trust your instincts. I'm not saying talk to me goose. No, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is invest small and invest often. Yep, hit the moguls hard. That's what we've been doing. And we've had some big wins in the past few months with 25% plus returns. So I'd like to go through them. And the good thing is, I think they've got further to run. Let's get it on. AVA Risk is toasting to you. Just put it down for a second. It's quite strong. AVA risk is um, probably at the speculative end of the of the stocks that we cover, um, but it's delivered what I think is the most important front in terms of confidence, and that's giving back to shareholders. Basically, they sold their um, they sold their logistics business and returned over sixteen cents a share to shareholders in dividends and capital return. And that's not including the franking credits. That's a big tick of confidence. Well, what's left, you might ask? Well, it's security technology business, which is its core business. And investors were getting a bit impatient on that front because they have this Aura IQ product that's basically a fiber optic sensing product for mining conveyor belts. And, you know, we were waiting, waiting, waiting for news on that front. And then, like, the stock just went down and down and down. And then we saw a, a, the chairman buying and we thought, bang, there's got to be something on that front. So we bought back in and, um, you know, bang, in one false swoop, they've got, a, they've got a contract. So it's not a big contract, but it's got the ball rolling, you know, in a, in a new, what expands the business from perimeter security to mining. So that increases their market. And the stock's climbed so far 36%. And on our numbers, could go further. Let's look at another one that's probably on the more conservative front, albeit still very much widely unknown. So, yep, that's right, under the radar. So this is arguably the quiet achiever of the assets management space. Why? Um, basically, you know, these guys do litigation funding. And I don't think that that's really well understood. But it turns out that legal claims are quite the uncorrelated market, sort of they're uncorrelated to markets. So, you know, this company's earnings ebb and flow, not on the basis of the, you know, of the general market, which gives it an edge. But like, and this is what crypto was supposed to do. Well, it didn't do it. So Omni Bridgeway is quite a valuable commodity because these guys are probably the leader in um, litigation funding and certainly in litigation funds management, which they've kind of been the big innovator. So the thing is, as I said before, not many people know about it. But And I said that's because it's very complicated. Now, when stocks are complicated, like people throw up their hands in despair, not us, not, not an under-the-radar report. Let's have a toast to that. This isn't complicated. Oak cream IPA. Often you find doing the hard yards on companies is really what pays off the most. 
because that's the most productive work you can do because you get that's where you get the edge is doing what other people won't do so like although it's got complicated sort of element strands to it operationally and certainly financially what's simple is um, you know looking at a valuation on this stock all you really need to do is basic maths you apply a win rate on their cases um, to the current portfolio and you get a valuation which just happens to be north of where it is now so this this doesn't take into account the company's goodwill which has to be big um, because like these you know Law is all about goodwill when it comes to people trusting you to manage manage their interests in a class action. I mean, that's by definition. The stock's up 30% since our spec buy rating at the start of the year. We think it'll keep going. What's next? Well, small cap royalty. What else can you say? Small cap royalty. We did. Well, I talked about it a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, uh, probably about a month ago on, on beers because um, we covered a number of stocks. And... Um, you know, when you're skiing, what do you need? Well, you need a good core and a good base. Core, base, core. What, are that, what does that mean in the company sense? Balance sheet. It's all about the balance sheet. This is the boiler room, to use one too many metaphors. If you don't have a good boiler room, you might go bust. This is the essential element, one of the essential element in the small cap royalty stocks that we listed in issue 503 a month ago. And these stocks included Austel, they included Data3, Austel the shipbuilder, Data3 the IT services manager, gold producer, Evolution Mining. So this is what the big sell-offs provide, quality at bargain prices. That's why we've been so excited. That's why you need to be fleet of foot, you know, as you're shushing down those slopes. Austel jumped 41% after a potential multi- vessel contract was signed with the US Coast Guard. That could be potentially worth billions. So needless to say, we still like the stock. Data 3 has climbed 22% off the back of um, what we you know, we signaled to investors was their um, pre-releasing of their FY22 result. It showed um, net profit up 20%. So that surprised on the upside. And bang, that stock's up 22%. But we don't get them all right. Mind you, you can't go wrong with oat cream IPA. Evolution Mining's been a bit of a disappointment. It's down about a third on missing production guidance and higher than expected costs. But talk about an overreaction. Like this company, I've talked about in the past, still got a great, a great asset base, still got strong management and production growth. So, you know, these kind of overreactions can occur in a tough market and that's where you have to be nimble and quickly jump onto the chairlift and get down the slopes. And that's where the opportunities lie. Um, what's coming up? Well, we've got a new gas stock this week that you need to read about. This is an exciting stock that has put on something really big in the, double, in the East Coast gas market in central Queensland. So we've also got part two coming next week of our oil and gas um, stock profile. Um, and we put our money where our mouth is. Yep, we've got a portfolio review coming your way. You know, lots of mogul skiing, lots of, lots of buying and selling. It's all exciting. It's all happening under the radar. And then, of course, we get inundated with company results. So lots of stocks coming your way. It's exciting times. Get under the radar. I'll toast to that.